it's happening. After all the suspense, all my talking, yes, yes, we're finally going to download Python on our machines. Now, based on what device you're using, the installation may change, but I'll provide videos for each one of the operating systems. So I'm on a Mac right now. And if you're using a Mac or a Linux distribution, you might have Python already installed on your machine. What do I mean? Well, if you open something called your terminal, so if I'm on my Mac and do command space and I type in terminal, press enter. Well, right over here, if I type in Python and press enter, you see that I enter something called a REPL or a read eval print loop where I can type Python commands like print hello. And look at that. It's working. Just like we had our REPL browser or website, I can type Python here. And most Macs come pre-installed with Python. But you might notice something here. Yep, we're using Python version 2, 2.7 to be specific. Now, as we've talked about, that is an older version of Python. Ideally, we want to install Python 3. So we're going to go to python.org and install the latest version of Python, which is 3.7. By the time you watch this video, there might be a higher version, maybe 3.8, 3.9. Now, like I said, a language is always evolving. But what I'm going to teach you in this course is going to work for any future versions of Python. So it doesn't matter if the number's a little bit off. As long as you're installing Python version 3 or up, you should be all good to go. In our case, we're on a Mac, so we're going to just click Install. And you can see over here that the package is being installed. I'm going to open it up and just simply run through the commands. Want to install, click through, continue. Yes, I agree to the license. I definitely read all that. Yes, let's agree. And we're going to just continue and install Python. If you want to add your password or your fingerprint, that works too. And you see that we're finally installing our Python interpreter. All right, there it is. We have Python 3.7 installed. Now, if everything worked as planned, if I go back to my terminal and I type Python, you'll see that you have Python version 3.7 or version 3 or higher. That's good. No more Python 2. Now, depending on your machine, again, this is why installations can get tricky, you might actually not have this work. For example, in order to exit out of here, we'll say exit and then curly brackets. You might have to type Python 3. And you'll see that you might have to specify exactly the version because if you just do Python, it'll be version 2. Now, if you encounter any problems installing Python on your machine, I will provide resources that you can see attached to this video or you can ask questions in our Discord channel or our Q&A forum. But it looks like we finally have our Python 3 installation on our computer. Remember, we just installed our interpreter and our virtual machine, our CPython VM, in order to write Python and then evaluate that Python code. Good job. Let's take a break, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.